Bringing home a healthy baby is every parent's dream, and keeping that baby safe is every parent's responsibility. After a recent tragedy in Clay County, Lily Pezzavento looks into threats that lie within the safety of an infant nursery and how parents can avoid tragedy. She joins us now with our top story. Lily. Sadie, it is common to believe that an infant would be safest in their crib. However, a deadly incident in the Valley Saturday proved otherwise. After a frantic 911 call on Saturday, the end result was heartbreaking. A nine month old baby boy was found unresponsive at his Clay County home, according to Indiana State Police Sergeant Joe Watts. And the dispatcher was able to talk him through CPR until arrival of medics and uh, fire personnel. Uh, however, when the infant was transported to St. Vincent Clay Hospital in Brazil, unfortunately, the male passed away. Foul play is not suspected at this time, according to law enforcement working on the case, and the autopsy will be conducted on Monday. It just looks like a tragic um, incident that occurred during the sleeping hours of the infant. infant. In order to avoid horrific incidents like this, education is the best form of prevention. New mother Kristen Wells began her safety research well before her son was born. Before I had him, I definitely looked up a lot of things online and we went to a sleep safety class that they had at Union Hospital. While cuddly blankets and bright colored stuffed animals look adorable in nurseries, Wells says they're because the risk of SIDS is so high and that they shouldn't have anything in their bassinet or their crib, no pillows, no blankets, no little toys, just them um, on their back. And According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, babies should sleep in their parents' room in a crib or a bassinet from four to six months. Baby may be safest in your arms, but sleeping with an infant is dangerous business. But even like the weight of your arm, they say if you put it over a baby, can suffocate them. For new parents, the key to keeping babies safe is as simple as a call to the pediatrician or keeping up with trusted parenting articles. That's all I want is for him to be healthy and safe and happy. Wells suggests reading what to expect along with downloading the app. The app sends parents emails with frequently asked questions and it even follows along with the infant stages. Parents can also feel free to call pediatricians with questions or concerns and never be too nervous to ask for help. Sadie. Thank you, Lily. That's all good advice. And Terre Haute's Chances and Services for Youth is full of free resources for parents with questions and concerns about infant care.